What's up guys, I'm Rustin from MossFireTech.com. How you guys doing? I'm doing well. Hopefully you guys are doing well too. Now today we have an exciting, exciting unboxing and first look at and review of a new single board computer, a really powerful one. Not a cheap one, but a really powerful single board computer. And it's from Lee Maker. It's the 960. So we're going to take a look at that. I just want to show you it right now. So this is it. This is the high key uh, 960 from Lee Maker. Lee Maker is the same people that created the banana pie and all the banana pie products. I'm going to ask you guys, how do you like my new setup? I'm using the, the 4K capture card to capture my DSLR. So I want to do more, more reviews using this type of setup. So where you see me and I transition between cameras. If you guys like this type of setup, let me know in the comments and like this video so I know you guys like this type of setup. But let me transition back to myself here. So it's a really strong single board computer. Uh, they were kind enough to send me a uh, review sample, so I'm grateful to them. And we're gonna test it out today, so let's do that right now. This is the board right here. It's from Lee Maker, the M. Key 960, really powerful board. As you can see here, it's got everything a single board computer should have. 4040 uh, GPIO, I think. Or oh, I don't know if they're calling it GPIO, they call it 40 pins LS connector. So I'm guessing those are GPIO pins. And for RAM, it's got three gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. Come on, man. What single board computer has three gigabytes of RAM? It's really unlikely. It's got uh, onboard uh, memory. It's got 32 gigabytes of uh, onboard flash. So you don't need a micro SD card. It's, and it's got its operating system built in. We're gonna talk more about the operating system later on. It's a Android based operating system, but you can install any operating system you, you please. You, any Linux should, should work fine. Wi-Fi antenna. All, the, all that uh, good stuff, it's got a DC jack. All right, so let's start on top. Like any good old uh, single board computer, it's got a GPIO pin uh, header here. And it's got 40 pin, it's a 40 pin header. So you guys have lots of flexibility when you wanna mess around with that type of stuff. It's got a nice DC jack. I'm sure it's five volts like every other single board computer like the Raspberry Pi. This is way more powerful than a Raspberry Pi, but way more expensive. I'm gonna talk more about that later on. For RAM, it's got three gigabytes of LPDDR4 RAM. On freaking believable. <laughs> now it's got also for memory, I'm sorry, for, for storage, 32 gigabytes of onboard flash storage. So that's pretty good. And it's got a operating system built in that flash storage, a uh, Android based operating system. We're gonna talk more about that later. Another 60 pin HS connector, pretty cool. Micro SD card, if you guys are interested interested if you want to expand the system memory or if you want to install other operating systems you can use the micro SD card it's got a micro SD card slot a HDMI full-sized HDMI port not a micro or any of that and a USB type C connector on very unbelievable with USB type C you have lots of flexibility and it's really powerful and also it's got two USB 3.0 ports plenty of antennas for like Wi-Fi let's go down here and this is the M.2 key M PCIe Gen 2 connector. Lots of flexibility with that. Awesome that they put that in there. We're gonna use that in the future. There are gonna be future projects where we use that. So I'm, I'm, I'm stoked that they put that in there. And the G, for the GPU, well, oh, I'm sorry, let's go with the CPU first. For the CPU, you got a four Cortex A73 up to 2.3 gigahertz. It, it can boost up to 2.3 gigahertz, so that's cool. And uh, it's a little big CPU architecture. Uh, for the GPU, it's got an ARM Mali G71 MP8 up to 900 me uh, megahertz. It can boost up to 900 megahertz. Awesome, awesome. Again, for RAM, three gigabytes of RAM. The Raspberry Pi has only one, and it's not just any old RAM, it's LPDDR4 RAM, so it's pretty fast. It's at 1.866 megahertz. That's outstanding for a single board computer, man. We're, we're not that far from like a couple years ago computers with that speed of RAM. Right, I'm stoked to be able to uh, unbox uh, test this out. It's gonna be an awesome addition to my single board collection. I have like every single board computer you probably ever think of. From the zero to like orange pie, I got the Latte Panda, I got a bunch of different uh, single board computers and I'm stoked to be able to do videos and compare them to other single board computers I have. So today we're gonna unbox it. Let's get on to the unboxing. All right guys, so this is the High Key 960 from Lee Maker. This is its power brick right here. And let's get to the unboxing. So I already unboxed this one, so I'm gonna do it for you guys again. That's why I put everything back in a box because I wanted to see how this thing looks. I was really, really eager. So in the box, this is the board itself. I took it out of its like 
wrap earlier, so that's why you don't see that anti-static wrap like single boards computers usually come with because they already like destroyed it and took it off. That's the board. In the box you get the instructional manual with all the all the important links and everything, so that's cool. Move that aside. And also, which is pretty cool, it comes with its own heatsink. Uh, double-sided the thermal transfer adhesive tape uh, heatsink that you can put on the CPU. So that's pretty cool. I like that. If it comes with a heatsink, you know the CPU is powerful. So I'm really happy. And let's look at the look at this power brick. This is your good old like power brick right here. So it comes with its own power brick. I don't know if, if it comes with a power brick. They send me a power brick in the box. So. I think you just get the board by itself. If you want to buy the power brick, you have to get it on its own. But uh, Lee Maker was kind enough to uh, send me the power brick as well, so I'm really grateful for that. And today we're gonna get to test out the board itself. Before we test out the board and I power it up, and I'm really excited to do that. I'm just gonna show you again what's on the board. I kind of gave you like a brief uh, description of what's on the board. But uh, I like to show you right now close up. Alright guys, so this is the board like we said over here. These are the two USB 3.0 ports. Awesome that they put that in there. Over here is a USB Type-C. Awesome connectivity with that. You'll be able to connect a lot of devices with it. Over here is a full-size HDMI port. Cool, cool, cool. On the other side here we have, this is the GPIO pins. There's 40 GPIO pins. Over here is your standard, not real standard for a uh, single board computer, it's a power port. It's not standard, but it's a power port for this board. On, these, on, the, on this side is the antennas for like the Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. On this side, this is the micro SD slot right here. I'm sure, this is like where all the RAM and everything is. Alright guys, so let's connect everything and start it up. Alright guys, so I have everything connected, it's powered on. And I connected it to my AV.io 4K capture device. So when I switch scenes, you're gonna be able to see it. I have another keyboard and mouse connected to it. <laughs> I do find myself like grabbing the wrong keyboard when I'm testing this out, but it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna switch over the screen right now. All right guys, this is the OS right here. So again, I used the wrong mouse, but as you can see, this is the OS. It's a Android based OS and it has everything that you would need, like bare bones Android. And I can't wait to really fully test this out and do some like benchmarks and create some cool projects uh, using this board. But for now, I figured, you know, I did the unboxing, I talked about the specs, and now I'm able to show it to you in another video. We're gonna really go into it and uh, test out its performance, do some benchmarks, maybe even try to water cool it. Now, I forgot to tell you guys about the price. It's not cheap. <laughs> it's up there, it's $239 US. But it's a powerhouse. With everything you get, all the connectivity, the powerful CPU, all that DDR4 RAM, built in 32 gigabytes of uh, flash memory. If, if you're looking for a really powerful uh, single board computer for your project, this is the one. I highly recommend it. I'm gonna do a follow up to this video with other videos. I'm sure I'll do like a uh, a bunch of videos on this device. I'm gonna be running stuff like Geekbench comparing it to like the Raspberry Pi, the Latte Panda, and all those other single board computers. So one negative thing I can say about the 960, it does not have a ethernet port. <laughs> I was surprised when I didn't have an ethernet port, but it's not a big deal. You could get a uh, USB dongle ethernet port, so it's not that big of a deal. They're really cheap. You probably get one for like 10 bucks. Before I close out this video, I want you guys comments. What should I do with this board? What kind of project should I be working on? Let me know. I'll read the comments. Any cool suggestions I might do. So leave a comment if you have a comment. Let me know if you guys like this setup. I want to try some new things. If you guys like it, then I'll keep doing it. it it's fun to use this setup. It's a lot easier to use, so I don't have to like have like 10 different video files could all be in one video file. All I'm using is OBS, uh, setting up di different uh, scenes, uh, different sources, and it's all one video file. <laughs> it's all one audio and video file in one, by the way, so it's pretty cool. I, I will experiment with other ways to do things, but I, I like it. If you guys like it, I, I will definitely keep it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from MonsterTech.com, and thank you guys for watching. Oh, 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 oh,